So from the moment that Inkling was shown, I knew I wanted to play that character. I, I wanted Inkling so badly. I voted for them on the ballot. I, I made a ton of me first posts about them. Please don't go digging. Don't, don't do that. That's not cool. I was a freshman in high school, alright? I was immature, whatever. I thought they would have had a really cool and creative moveset, and they do. And I'm really excited to play them. What's going on, guys? It's Badmouth. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about Inklings and the potential that they have. To start things off, I want to talk about Inkling Snare. Inkling Snare has really low knockback, which is going to allow for it to be like a great combo tool. I think we'll see things like Nair into grab, uh, Nair into smashes, like Nair up smash. Um, I think we'll see Nair into dash attack to pop people up and put them into disadvantage. Um, Nair into jab to set up your ink for kills and such. I think we'll see Nair fair. And then Nair Nair is definitely going to be a thing. Nair is also going to set you up for some tech chase scenarios too. Single hit up air is going to be devastating. It leads into so much. Um, it can lead into up smash. It can lead into things like jab, grabs. There's just a lot of potential in this move. Splat Bombs use about one-fifth of your total ink. They can also clash with projectiles. They seem to have pretty good kill power for as quick as they are. Killing Pikachu here around 110. Inkling is able to ink charge with full ink. Ink charge shrinks your hurt box, making it just a little bit safer to charge your ink. Inklings can stay under for about 3 seconds total. So a couple of things I feel might keep Inkling from being among one of the top tiers. I don't think their recovery is going to be as flexible as somebody like Pikachu's or Bayonetta's. Um, it's, it's a pretty linear recovery too, so you'll see characters like Morph running off the stage and back airing it. I don't know, I'd, I just don't think it's top tier level recovery. I also worry about their ability to escape disadvantage. The characters that we assume are going to be top tier have these tools to escape being jungled. And I'm worried that the Inklings roller isn't going to be good enough for that. It seems like it's going to have a ton of startup and you'll likely just get hit while trying to use it to escape. All in all, I think Inkling's going to be an amazing character. With their super solid projectiles and quick powerful aerials, they should have a pretty good time in the neutral. The Inklings are able to easily put people in tech chase scenarios. They're super quick in the air and they have incredible ground speed. And they're definitely going to benefit from Ultima's air dodge changes by keeping people above them and intercepting their recovery. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to try something different, and I'll definitely do more of these if the response is good. If you guys have any ideas for content, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I put a lot of effort into editing this video, so if you guys liked it, please drop a like, and if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.